Sorry, Andrew. No. Hello and welcome, I'm DDF Racer, and we're back for some more iRacing, specifically the LMP2 series, hosted by Sudspeed, um, the manufacturers of these fine t-shirts and these fine gloves. And the reason I'm starting the stream off by saying that is because, um, cast your minds back a couple of weeks to the incredibly wet race at Road America where there was no spray, and um, somehow... I managed to get second place. I haven't finished in the top 10 all season, and then it suddenly rains and I can drive. I don't know how that works. But um, for my efforts last year, the commentary team and the organizers enjoyed it that much that they gave me a free pair of gloves. Now, as you can see, I have absolutely no use for a free pair of gloves, so one of you is going to get a free pair of gloves. <laughs> That's right, I'm running a giveaway in chat right now. So if you want to be in with a chance of winning a free pair of these, uh, then all you have to do is type into the chat, exclamation mark, giveaway. <coughs> and then at the end of the second race, at the end of the stream basically, in about an hour, an hour's time, an hour and a half's time, uh, there will be a winner picked at random. So get your exclamation mark giveaways in chat, and you could be in with the chance of winning some suit speed gloves. Um, and they're basically what got me the podium last week out. Not that I'm shilling or anything, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Partially frozen. Blake, thank you. Awesome stuff. Um, at least with Blake, I, I can save on shipping if you win it, mate. Um, yeah, it's nice one, mate. F sticky. <clears throat> Three years of being a DDF Racer channel membership. Um, I hope you're looking after your mental health, mate, because three years of watching me on YouTube will probably do bad things to you. Uh, anyway, <coughs> excuse me, let's have a little bit of a talk about what's going to be happening today on this stream. We're going to be racing the LMP2 car, which, if you're not familiar with what that is, it's basically a Le Mans prototype. It's a souped up, massively aerodynamic car that has incredibly high speeds, lots of grip. It loves nice wide open racetracks, nice smooth racetracks. So that's naturally why we're racing at the Belle Isle street circuit today. Incredibly narrow, incredibly bumpy, and uh, short, tight, and twisty. Hanif J, thank you for the subscribe. Thank you very much. Hope you're looking after yourself, um, wherever you are, whatever time it is. Not just you, but everybody for tuning in. Ah, uh, Stephen Coe, good to see you. <laughs> uh, uh, Blake, uh, you'll need a four-wheel drive car to actually make use of them then. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> um, what? Well, that sounds good, Partially Frozen. Okay, well, if Blake, if you win, I'll bring him into work for you. Partially Frozen, if you win, um, how about we go for a drink somewhere in Brizzy? Mike Davidis, good to see you. Ah, first time in. Looking forward to this. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this as well. I'm fully expecting to be back outside the top 10 again today uh, because my pace only seems to be apparent in the wet conditions and the, bro uh, the broadcast, the forecast today is completely dry. Speaking of the broadcast, um, there is an official SimSpeed TV broadcast going on. Full overlays, full yes, directors, nice. full commentary. <clears throat> it's an amazing production, and Sticky has done the honours of putting into chat exclamation mark broadcast for the link. So, follow that link in chat, and if it goes off the top of the screen, just type into chat exclamation mark broadcast again. Simple as that. Hey, Poods, good to see ya. Yeah, I think with the change in daylight savings here in Australia, and I don't know if Europe has kicked in as well, it basically means that I'm doing this race an hour later in Australia, and Europe is an hour closer, so it's instead of 10 hours difference, it's 8 hours difference. Anyway, let's switch over. Ah, yes. I do owe you a slab. I owe you several slabs, Sticky. So just to run you through the format of how this is going to work today, um, practice is currently running at the moment, and we have maybe like a minute or two of that left. When that finishes, we tick over to qualifying, which I believe is... Let's have a look. Uh, 15 minutes worth of qualifying. Once the qualifying has finished, we have race one, which is 15 minutes. You guessed it. The top 10 in race one start 
the second race in reverse order. So if you finish 10th in the first race, then you start on pole for the second race, which is what I did last time out in Road America. I started on pole and I, I did my best not to give away that position. And unfortunately, I got beat right at the end by uh, Daniel Beddingfield. That's not his name. Uh, but that's what everyone in chat was calling him, um, and everyone was spamming the chat with Daniel Beddingfield song lyrics, which I only realised after the stream. Thank you, George. <laughs> He's not racing today, so we'll see how we go. But yeah, weather forecast is completely dry, and qualifying is going to tick over any second now. So, full damage, full tyre wear, full fuel use. In the second race as well, um, you also have to stop you have to make a pit stop and change minimum two tyres. If you change the front, it takes about 10 seconds. If you change the back, it takes about 10 seconds. If you change all four, or if you change yeah, just the left or just the right, then it will take you 20 seconds. Now I've got some chat messages to keep up with. Andy Bales, thank you very much for three months of... Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Belle Isle. A couple of uh, quick points before we move into qualifying. Uh, obviously, a lot of walls around here leave each other that little bit extra space. Uh, if someone clips a wall, it's very hard for them to get off the racing line or pick up speed again quickly. So just make sure you've got enough space between one another when qualifying. Thanks, Onyx. Uh, we don't actually have a short pace lap either. Belle Isle doesn't allow it. So we won't be having a three minute grid hold. We'll have, be having a one minute grid hold, which is plenty of time for everybody to get on the grid and obviously me to complete the briefing whilst the pace lap is in progress. So just wanting to make everyone aware, we will not be having a short pace lap. It is a full pace lap for both races. Good luck to everyone in qualifying. Leave each other enough room, and uh, we'll talk to you before race one commences. That's the end of the session. E7. Smooth operator. Richard, good on you, sir. Thank you for the race briefing, and uh, it's now time to get out in qualifying. So... Uh, where did I finish the practice session? I think it was like 8th or ninth or something. I, I didn't hear the spotter. Thanks for the 12 months, Onyx. One year of being a DDF Racer Channel member. That is fl flown by. Absolutely flown by. Hope you're enjoying a nice glass of wine tonight. I'm going to hydrate. I'm going to get out on track. And I'm going to show you what this schmozzle of a racetrack is all about. Another plus with the suit speed gloves, by the way, you can use your touch devices with them. It's touch device enabled on the finger and the thumb. So, you know, not that I'm trying to convince you to enter the giveaway or anything like that, but I'm just saying, you know, they're pretty good. Pretty good. If I just press the button there by mistake, maybe. Anyway, it's all good. Let's get the car started. Right. Got a nice clear track behind us at the moment. Nice clear track ahead. That is absolutely critical. Track's clear. Push, push, push. Okay, Dan, we've got 14 minutes to get the job done. Very bumpy, very narrow. Absolutely no room for mistakes, as the title suggests here. you got to be right up close to the walls to maximise the lap time here. But if you get too close to the walls, the, uh, how shall I say this, the iRacing damage model is incredibly unforgiving. Just a minor bonk and your suspension can be absolutely wrecked. And it's not like some of these corners are absolutely straightforward either, like a basic 90 degree right. You've got bumps, you've got elevation changes, wonky cambers. Braking zones that aren't straight. You've got sweepers like this that then immediately have to go back to the left to then cut into the right, but you don't want to pull out to the wide onto the exit there. Because there's a massive dip in the track and it just engages the traction control. Anyway, that is a lap. So, I'm going to concentrate here. So I'm going to go quiet for a couple of minutes and just get a good lap on the board, hopefully. So, headphones on volume up. Here we go. Quali. I think I got away with it. There's a... The leader has just done a 118.43. It was absolutely parallel 
Hit the wall. If I can get a mid-19, I'll be happy with that. That's kind of my expected lap time. Yeah, this is a bit of a scruffy lap so far. Quiet lap aborted. Next one's the one. The tyres will be up to speed. Bodywork bent into shape as well. <laughs> Car behind is 2.5 seconds, gap. Car ahead is 5 seconds, we've got a nice gap. Keep your wits about you, mate. Right, here we go, let's try again. Gonna get it this time. Sector 1 is 0.32, off the pace. Sector 2 is 0.5, off the pace. Okay, and that's a lap. All right, have fun, Sticky. Enjoy it, mate. I'll see you later. What lap have we got? Seventh position. Sector one is zero point three two off the pace. Nineteen three. That'll do nicely. I know I can do better. That was scruffy. That lap time was one nineteen point three five. Yellow flag. on the inside then it's millimeters in it this lap's going to be a write-off anyway so p7 overall currently I right, just save myself for the next lap and I'm not going to beat it here I'm already nine tenths down on what I did last time two is 1.1 seconds off the pace so just, let's not overheat the tires too much let's not catch up to the guy ahead too much Go ahead, has just done a 19.29. Push down to 8th now. Alright, here we go. Uh, there's control, calm one. Stand by. P8, you're now 2.6 off the pace. Sector 1 is 0.6 off the pace. Sector 2 is 1.1 seconds off the pace. Sector 3 is 0.9 off the pace. That lap time was 121.00. Sector 1 is 0 0.40 off the pace. I thought that was going into the wall there. Okay, Dan, you've used half your fuel. Sector 2 is 0.45 off the pace. I'm going to get held up by this guy. There's a few people behind, I'll let them go. Yellow flag. The leader that was a bit awkward. 17.93, is the car rejoining? Oh, let's try again. Tenth position. Oh, 
down to 10th. Yellow flag. We estimate you've got five minutes of fuel remaining. Too wide there. Miss that apex as well. Sector 1 is 0.5 off the pace. Good exit there though. Wow. Good exit there as well. Good exit there, that's four tenths up, wow! Where's that going to put me on the grid? Sixth place. <laughs> Sectors two and three oh, are that's in the wall. Off the pace. Oh, Sector yep. one is Steering damage there. Off the pace. Oh. The lap time was at 119.00. My car. The car in front's lap time is at 118.93. Down to seventh immediately. That's the first time I've done a 118 here. Every lap I've done before has been like 119 something. Oh, I'm chuffed with that. That's by far the best lap I've done here. Got five seconds to the car behind. I'm gonna practice a pit stop entry and then we're gonna come out on a fresh set of tyres and see if I can improve, but I don't think I can. 118.9, wow. I'm impressed if I do say so myself. No doubt I'll get pushed out of the top 10 by the time the session finishes. Still got five minutes remaining. Definitely Sean, the gloves are working. Big thanks, suit speed. Not just for the gloves, but for hosting this league as well. Definitely need to practice my pit entry. That was where I lost the win last time out. Hey, George! All right, Dan. There's a car exit in the pits. Heads up. Box in. Two hundred and. Des, good to see you. It's amazing what the uh, in change in daylight savings does. Four. Two hour swing. Three. Two. Well, get used to it for the next six months, mate, because this is what I'm going to be racing at, mostly. Alright. Much better pit exit. Wow. <laughs> you think it's the socks, personally. Alright, well, let's give it another crack, then. Four minutes to go. Hey, Rob Mitchell! Uh, there is, George! Free pair of gloves off on offer in chat. I won them last time out as... as, um... Thanks for being driver of the day, because the uh, the guys at Sudspeed voted me driver of the day for my. Disengage it. There's a car approaching. Don't cross the white line. Blue flag. Am I driving in the wet? At Road America, they were like, "Yep, yeah, this guy's going to win driver of the day." So, uh, yeah, I've got use, no use for a free pair of gloves. <laughs> I'm, already, I'm already wearing them. So yeah, exclamation mark giveaway in chat. Get yourself in. All right, got a nice gap behind now for in a bit seconds. Still in seventh. Yellow flag. Ah, oh, right, Odes. got Jimmy Middleton up ahead of us. He's the guy we caught up to on our lap last time round. So I don't want to catch him again, but I do have Daniel. Oh, Daniel, Bedef Daniel Beddingfield is racing. And he's behind me on track, 1.9 behind. All right, here we go. Last chance. When are going to get two laps, maybe? Right, here we go. Let's see what I can do. Quiet time again. There's a car rejoining. Seven. Alright, well that's the guy ahead of me taken care of in the most unfortunate way. Sector 
one is 0.5 off the pace. Oh no, it's in the wall. I think I got away with that. Very small damage there. Yep, car feels fine. Zero X, the smallest of touches. It sounded a lot more dramatic than it was. But it means that this lap isn't going to count because I registered an incident. So, depending on what time I cross the line... Sector 2 is 0.8, off the pace. If I cross the line with... Actually, I don't think I'm going to do it, because the session ends when it hits zero. I need to cross the line with 118 remaining, and there's only 115 remaining now. Okay, so that's it. That's my quali over. Might as well practice another pit entry. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Box in. 270 metres. Yeah, that was never going to work out, but... Box in. 5. 4. Provisionally three, in 7th. 2. One. Which is like... Box in. <laughs> I wasn't expecting the top 10 here. There we go. Much better. Much better on the entry and... and um, entry and... What's the, what's the word I'm looking for? Exit. That's right. Oh, this is stressful, people. <laughs> this isn't even the race. This is literally just qualifying. This is so stressful. All right, thank you, poods. Enjoy your meeting, said nobody ever. But I hope it goes all right for you. Um, and I will see you maybe later in the stream. If not, then I'll catch you in the comments on the replay. Because I've got a feeling you won't want to miss this one. I've just got a feeling it's going to be... That's the end of the session. P7. It's going to be like that today. Okay, fuel is in. 30 litres ready for the sprint. Now, they don't like using the safety car in race one if they can avoid it. Because it basically takes up half the race. So, unless it's a severe accident... Uh, we'll hey be everyone, going welcome to... Green to the end. Belle Isle for our uh, first street circuit of the series. Nice uh, walls close to the racing line, so uh, it will be interesting for sure. Just again, a reminder, we're sticking with two-minute uh, grid timer because we have a full pace lap today. Belle Isle doesn't allow a short pace lap. So as we know, uh, sprint format, every race is a sprint format, so we've had 40 minutes practice, 15 minutes qualifying. Race one is 15 minutes with no pit stop, just a sprint for the, uh, for the full length of the race. Then we'll have a 10 minute break and we go to a 30 minute race two with a reverse top 10. That's where we have our compulsory pit stop for two tyres. <coughs> I'll remind you again at the start of the next race. Request to tow is active in both races, so make sure that if you do bin it and you need to tow, please radio in. We had a couple of people last round that uh, didn't tow, um, and as a result they uh, didn't request to tow rather, and as a result they lose their points for the round. So if you need to tow, please request to tow and we will review that. Um, you have one fast repair, as usual. You can use that after towing and rejoin the race if you need to. Pit entry here and exit is a little bit technical. You need to peel off the right kink before the start-finish line, and then the exit uh, pit exit is right into the racing line at turn two. Use your relative, uh, but also as you're coming through, try and be aware if somebody is leaving the pits because it needs to be a little bit of give and take. Otherwise, it's impossible for somebody to get out of the pits safely. So be aware of the people that are around you. There's not a lot of room here, as we know, the walls are pretty close. The track so, temp is 29, uh, the air temp is 20 it's a technical Celsius. Track. There's a few good passing opportunities, uh, but make sure you're alongside, make sure you can pull it up, because, again, there's not a lot of runoff, really any runoff here, so please be aware of that. Follow the safety um, car in the right column. We're going a little bit on Aussie service, so just be mindful of that. Obviously, we, we don't know if that's going to happen, but we'll try and be aware of it. Um, if you're racing close to someone, you know, just be, be aware of that. Um, and again, if you're behind somebody, um, be aware that it's your responsibility not to drill the guy in front. If you're involved in any incidents, radio in, car number, lap number, okay, down. number, Get ready. Can, we'll check it out. Um, we're only going to review what you radio in or what we see live. Don't wait till after the race. Please let us know how you make it so we can address it. Go, go, go. We are racing. 15 minutes left. Um, So much for a long formation lap. <laughs> Thanks everybody. I was getting ready to do the intro, but I missed the boat there. Cold brake, cold tires, super careful. Right side. Still there. Clear, clear to the right. 
too careful on the brakes there. That's all what it's all good. Yeah, I think you guys can see that one. Stand by for nothing. Thanks George, thanks Andy. Down to eight at the moment. Yeah, very cautious into turn three. Some pressure from behind as well. Oh, a bit wide there. Oh well, we survived. That's the main aim. Just survive. There will be mistakes. Hopefully, they're not mine. Eighth place. Okay, tyres and brakes up the temp now. Just need to get into that rhythm. Ah, oh, this is so stressful. like that. Potato. Stand by 87. Bonkers circuit. Bonkers. Oh, maybe the circuit itself isn't so much... I mean, yeah, it's bonkers. But running this car on it is double bonkers. Car 87, you make Guys behind are dropping back. Um, into turn three is the main overtaking spot, really, Potato, from what I can see. That was a 120.00. Sector one is 0.6. Oh, but not if you get run out of turn two like that with a massive understeer. Oh, where hasn't the IndyCar safety crashed, mate? <laughs> Amazing, George. <laughs> Dylan Gray behind is catching up a bit. The gap to key ahead is now 0.7. Not particularly closing on Keen up ahead. You've just done a 120.12. You could say he's rather keen to get on with it. Nah! Yeah, I'll point out Canada on the back straight, Aiden. It's literally on the other side of the fence. <laughs> Go on, I'd, I'd be interested to see how you do around here, Potato. Experienced LMP2 driver and all. Right, Dan, 10 minutes to go. That's 10 minutes left. Okay, Canada is just over there. That's Canada, those buildings. That's literally the border is on the other side of that fence. The gap to key ahead is now 1.0. 
That lap time was 120.06. I think everybody's pretty much spread out here, to be honest. I'm not catching the guy ahead, but I'm gapping the guy behind. Well, he was actually representative for once. Saying that, someone's had a lock-up up ahead there. That's P6. We're going to start making mistakes, no doubt. Went in too hot, hit the bump wrong. Car almost got away from me. <laughs> what happened, Aiden? Sorry, I didn't catch it, mate. Ooh, re locking. Give that bias forward a click, just to help. Great, it's closing in. The gap oh, is now. there's a bonk in the wall. Don't forget, there is a broadcast of this taking place right now, by the way. Type into chat, exclamation mark broadcast. Open it on a separate tab, of course. <laughs> I cannot recommend SimSpeed TV highly enough. The production quality, commentary, direction is just superb. You can get a picture of the whole race, because, yeah, like I said, there's not really much happening here right now, apart from me just trying not to die. Unlike that guy ahead, Matt hit the wall. Matt just hit the wall. Does he have damage? Okay, Dan, you've got 10 minutes of fuel remaining. That's half distance. We think the fuel's going to be tight. You might need to save some. Nah. Oh, he's hit the wall again. He's too keen. Yep, rears are starting to get a bit hot, I think. Dylan Gray, only two tenths back. Wow, they caught up. Bit of a traffic jam behind. Hopefully, I don't get shuffled out of the top ten. The next car is key. You've just done a 120.85. You're a second off the pace. Need to be down into the 119s. That'll keep me here. They're so much better on the brakes than I am into that corner. Hit the wall behind. Incident in turn six. Hit the wall behind. Great. You've used half your fuel. Sorry. Stand by fifty two. Watch the turn two. You can tell. 1.7 seconds back. Still in eighth. The actor key in front is now 0.8. The lap time was at 120.37. Sector one is 0.39 off the pace. Sector two is 0.48 off the pace. Sector three is 0.8 off the pace. Oh, stressful. Five minutes remaining, five minutes left. Keep it together, come on, the race isn't over yet. Nope, definitely not. Five minutes to go, seven minutes of fuel in the tank. Lovely. Not expecting to gain any positions on pace and overtaking, but if someone makes a mistake, I'll take any freebies I can get.
Thanks for the observation, Viperia, and I'll, I'll keep that in mind now, mate. Just trying to get it rotated over the bumps, trying to kick the rear out a bit. Just done a 120.32. Sector 2 is 0 0.7 off the pace. Here we go, that's better. Just need to be smooth. There's an incident in turn six. It looks like Ridley. Come on, Dan. Push, push, push. We can catch this oh. car. Oh! It's popped into existence. I don't know if he was blinking or something then, but it didn't really. Yellow flag. Watch out. There's an incident in. Didn't turn really. Seven. Seems the last moment. Well, there's two freebies. Whoa. Is that six? People's tires must be going off. Hey, Nick. Oh, one was a lap down. Okay, George. Only one freebie then. Up to seven. Back where I started. There's an incident in turn three. There's an incident in turn twelve. Looks, Looks like, like it's Ridley. P7. That was a on twenty but six one. John, I saw that man. Okay, Dan. Five minutes of fuel remaining. Five minutes. Two minutes to go. Maybe this lap and two more. Well, it's not going to be much if it is. Depends when the leader crosses the line. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. Please. Oh, good car, right? Good car. All right, so this is now the battle for six. Two laps to go. Thanks, Hyperion. I don't think I'm going to get him. If I can get a bit closer. Time was on 20.55. Put him under a bit of pressure. You never know. I'm getting a tiny bit of slipstream now as well, so just be careful of breaking too late here. Slipstream again. I'll take that coming up to lap mark as well in a minute. This could be an opportunity. It's the closest I've been for a while and got a good exit. Is Mark going to play a factor in this? Let's see. One more to go. That lap was at 120.42. Okay, Dan. Lap time's pretty consistent. Very little fuel left. Closest to beat, two tenths, here we go. Can I get him? We're running on 
fumes, mate. Just two minutes left, two minutes to go. Oh, it's going to be close! Incident in turn one. You think it might be Lambert? Oh, oh no, I got Wiggly coming out of the final corner. Bonked rear left, couldn't get the drive, but the line is right there. Wouldn't have got it anyway. Oh. There's an incident oh. in turn three. Oh. Looks like it's seventh position. Seventh. The end of the race. That Double was line. so stressful. That was stressful. Couldn't get him, but I am chuffed with that. Managed to hold on. Got through a street race at Belle Isle with zero X and got an awesome result, actually. Next M down the road was, I believe, in 11th. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, George. Thanks, Nick. Viperion. Um, starting P4 for race two. Yep, yeah, because it is a top 10 reverse grid. Thank you, Sean. Oh, wow. So this is going to be quite telling now because there were quite a few. Thanks, Andy. Request to toes in race one. And what that means, if you're not familiar, is if you crash the car, you can press a button to go back to the pits, which basically simulates your car being put on the back of a truck and drove back to the pits on a recovery vehicle. It takes about three or four minutes. Well done, guys. A little bit of bumping and grinding there. Just to forgive my terrible announcement, I uh, didn't realise that if we all gridded up, then uh, pace up would begin so quickly. Just uh, lost my mojo from it there, so apologies <laughs> to anyone who my annoying voice might have distracted. Well done, Lockhart. Good on you for putting on a pole and taking the win. Well done. You want to jump into chat, have a quick uh, chat with the boys in comms, as well as uh, Seb Vandell and Andrew Proctor. If you guys want to have a quick chat with the commentators, We've got a 10 minute break and then we will be back for race two with a reverse top 10. So basically what I was saying was you can recover your vehicle back to the pits by towing it back. However, in a real race, they would call the safety car. In a real race, they would call the safety car, which basically means that the whole circuit gets neutralized. Everyone bunches up and adds a nice strategic element to the race. They don't like to throw the safety car in race one because it's only 15 minutes and there's half the race gone basically before you know it the um it's it's like five minutes to go and you're, you're back going to racing conditions again however in race two they have no qualms whatsoever in throwing the safety car now what that means is based on the amount of bins we had in race one there's quite a few requested toes i wouldn't be surprised especially with it being a longer race if the same happens again and that will trigger a safety car so we have to take tires at some point do we, if we're starting in position four and we come into the pits, we're going to go right to the back of the field. It's going to be a, you know, bit of a struggle overtaking people on merit. As you've seen, it's quite difficult. So, do we risk track position with an early pit stop before a safety car comes out? Or do we wait until the safety car comes in and potentially maintain that track position? <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, second race is 30 minutes. Mike? Thanks, Sean. Thank you very much, mate. Shame you couldn't be racing today. Um, saw you post in Discord saying it's too late. Uh, too late? Too late. Um, which is a bit of a shame. Um, always nice to have you in these races, mate. Um, yeah, pitting on the safety car is always better as you lose so much time less than a green flag. However, if I pit before the safety car, like we can't pit as soon as the safety car comes out. So the safety car comes out, field bunches up for two laps, and then the pit lane opens. So if I make a pit stop, no one else does, and I'm in like 12th or 13th or whatever, but no one else pits ahead of me, and then there's a safety car, I will jump everybody and be in P1, which is better than P4. It's a risk. Cleaner could be crucial as well, Andy. Uh, not that I imagine being held up behind anyone ahead. Although saying that, it's a reverse top 10, so the guys ahead of me theoretically will be slower than me. Um... Pit and the safety car, especially if you think there's more than one. Oh, it's tricky. Um, the earliest you can come in... <laughs> it's a mandatory pit stop, by the way.
Uh, is at the end of lap three. Watch the white line. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying, Viperion. They could, you know, if they pit during the safety car, they get to catch back up to the field. If there's a safety car, they, they can't. It's not like as soon as there's a yellow flag. And it's like, oh, I'm going to jump in the pit straight away. As soon as the yellow flag and the safety car is called, the pit lane is closed. You cannot pit. So the field has to bunch up and everybody knows the tail before you can pit in safety car conditions. So what I'm saying is if I pit before there's a safety car, say so if I come in at the end of lap three, I'm at the back of the train, the safety car comes out, field bunches up, and I'm at the back of the train, but then everybody ahead of me probably will pit, which means that instead of being like 20, 30 seconds behind in green flag conditions when the safety car comes out, I'm going to be like five seconds behind. You know? That's the point I'm making, is that it's like, normally, yeah, in like Formula One conditions, it, yeah, I'd be like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to pit when the safety car comes in, but there is no advantage to pitting, well, not saying no advantage, if the safety car comes out and I haven't pitted, I will definitely be coming in. But if I pit and then the safety car comes out, that could really play to my advantage. Like Fernando Alonso, Singapore strats. Box in three hundred and ten. Um, Taiwo is not a massive factor, George. Box in five, four, three, two, <laughs> one. Sorry, Sean. Box now. It takes it's clear. Push. Like I will be amazed if there isn't a safety car in this race. I mean, I've said that before and it's been green flag all the way. So you never know. I mean, these predictions always seem to go the other way. <laughs> Who can I pay off in this race to crash for me on lap five or four? They, I see what you're saying, Viperion. They lose less time under safety car conditions because everyone's going around slower, but nobody is allowed to pit until the field is bunched up. So you can theoretically gain a lot more track position if you pit before the safety car. Watch your speed. Box in three. Well, that's one way to come into the pits. That's a bit too late. So yeah, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be losing those thirty seconds at all, Viper, and I'd be getting them back straight away. Three. Because like I would be nose to tail with the entire field ahead of me who hasn't pitted. All clear on pit exit. Um, I think unless I've got something seriously wrong, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I think, I think Aiden, Aiden's got it. Yeah. So. The risk is, if I know there's going to be a safety car, it's a no-brainer that, you know, just come into the pits. But George is right as well, because if I pit on lap, in the end of lap three, and there is no safety car, I have screwed myself over big time because I'm at the back of the pack and potentially getting stuck behind people who, well, I can't remember who said it in chat before, who, who are basically at the back of the pack for a reason because they've had accidents or they just haven't got quite as much pace today, so... Yeah, it's all assuming the safety car is going to come out. I'll be amazed if it doesn't. So don't forget to vote in chat, by the way, on on YouTube. There is a vote going in chat right now. You can call it in the votes how many safety cars you think there's going to be. None, one, two, or more than three. And also, if you want to win a... or be in with a chance of winning a free pair of suit speed gloves, type into the chat, exclamation mark, giveaway. Look out for the pit speed limit. Box in 310 meters. Because, uh, yeah, there's a pair of free gloves to give away. So, exclamation mark giveaway. Five. That's the one, Streamlabs. Thank you. 
Um, Three, two, one. Yeah, Ada Millwood. My safety car chat was uh, sorry. My safety car Brexit voodoo was terrible at Barber. I decided to stay out when everyone else pitted. Maybe that's skewing my decision mentally because I don't want to get caught out again by that. It's it's all confusing, but that's that's the fun part of it. <laughs> Your cat has got some literary skill, Mike David. You set up an alt account for them. Boost me numbers. <laughs> Alright, one more pit entry. <clears throat> Sorry, apologies for the voice as well. I feel like I'm starting to get a bit of a block nose. Uh, yeah, sure, and if you can do that, that'd be fantastic. If you go ahead and tell me when the safety car comes out, <laughs> that'd be amazing, Sean. Thank you. Yeah, true, true, Des. Don't. All this chat is is irrelevant if I am the reason for the safety car. So, uh, yeah. All this chat doesn't mean anything if I'm the one putting it in the fence and causing the yellows to come out. Watch your speed. Box in 310 meters. All right, let's practice a pull away from the pits now. <clears throat> Box in five, four, three, two, one. Box now. Need to dip that clutch a bit more. Looks like you're clear on the pit exit. Disengage limiter. All right then, we're good. I think. Let's find a tissue from somewhere. See if I can blow my nose. I don't think I have a tissue. No, I am tissueless. Maybe some water will fix it. Well, thank you so much for sticking with the stream, everybody. It is great to have you here. Hope you're enjoying it. Um, we're going to be starting race two very shortly. If you are enjoying it, don't forget to leave the stream a like. Uh, say hi in chat. And if Hannah Scott is here, I know immediately what's going to happen. <clears throat> Just going to say hi That's in chat. End of the session. P4. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more, because this is round four of seven. In two weeks, we have Mo Sport, which is actually over the border in Canada. Then two weeks after that, we have Laguna Seca. Then two weeks after that, we have the finale at Watkins. All right, everyone. Apologies about my ramblings last time. Uh, I was uh, not paying attention. Lost my mojo. Just not having a good day. But we're here now for race two. Um, so we've got a reverse top ten. As you know, this is a 30-minute race. We will have a uh, compulsory pit stop any time from the end of lap three through to the end of the uh, second last lap, the penultimate lap. You will need to take two tyres, uh, so that's a standard rule. You guys should be all aware of that by now. Uh, pretty good racing, a couple of incidents in the first race. Just again, be aware of who's around you, be aware that there's not much runoff and the walls are nice and close, so uh, if you get it wrong, you're into the wall rather than into the grass. Um, we've set the gridding countdown time to one minute, so we're not in a rush this time, and if everybody grids up, we'll still have a little bit longer before we, uh, we kick off on the... Um, Hey, Slap. But good luck to everyone. Again, radio in if you're involved in an incident. Uh, radio in if you're involved. So, 30 minutes. And, uh, the track temp is race. 23. Good the air temp is 20 Celsius. Thanks, partially frozen. Tyres are ready to go for the stop. No fuel. <clears throat> Just rears. Zero. One. In the left lane. So I'd much rather have a little bit of understeer that I can manage and dial out and lift off with, as opposed to oversteer with fresh fronts and old rears. And then sudden snap over a bump, it's game over, man. All right, here we go. Quiet time, race two, 30 minutes, starting behind the safety car in position four. Get ready, time to focus. Waiting to react. Let's go. All right, let's be a little bit more brave on the brakes here. Left side. Clear left. Oh, we overcooked it. We defended it, we're still in fourth. Excellent. Car is heavier, there's more fuel in it, so it'll be a bit more sluggish. 
Race control car 38. Turn three, four. Stand by 38. Thanks, Blake. Thanks, George. Let's go. Okay, Dan. Decent start. We can build something from here. Oh, I almost understayed over the bump into the wall. Aiden Luthwaite all over my buttocks. Far right. Hold your line. Hold your line. Hold your line. Clear right. You're clear. Defend mid. That's slowing both of us down. He's still there. Hold your line. Clear to the left. On your left. Clear left. Ah, uh, good one. Good move, mate. This is also what I don't want to do. Lose time fighting with these guys. Who are clearly faster than me in the top 10 reverse. Car right. Still there. Blue right. Come on, Dan. Don't panic. We'll get him back. I don't think we will, mate. Right, okay. Down to six now. The leader's just done a 120, 114. The car ahead has just done a 120, 117, V6. That last lap was a Oh, a big understeer. That's true, Frozen. These guys are Defend your position. aliens. Oh, that's an early pit stop. The leader has just done a 119.10. P5. Oh, that was the end of lap three. Oh, I got it wrong. All right, pitting this lap, I reckon. Seven. Saying that, I'm actually pulling away from these guys. And I think there may be some strategic race one finishing at play from Sebi Vondel here. He won this championship series last year. I reckon he may have not fought too hard to get higher than P10 in race one. Field in front is pitting. 
Look out for the pit speed limit. The pit lane speed limit is 64 kilometers per hour. Um, I'm at the point where it doesn't really matter if I take all four or two. Boxing. It's like one or two percent frozen. Four. Three, two, one. Box now. All right. Let's do this. Just the rears. <laughs> Hayden, you're not the first to make that joke. All right. All clear on pit exit. You can push now. Left side. Clear left. All right. So let's see. The guys ahead are genuinely faster, so I'm not going to get held up so far. Let's see how we go. They will be cold. Cold rears. I see what you're saying, Frozen, about taking all four tyres. But I'm at... I've hardly done any laps. They've hardly got any wear on them. I might as well save myself 10 seconds in the pits. Because if I'm banking on track position, why lose more to people who have only taken two tyres? Left side. Clear on the left. Uh, on your left. Okay. Uh, Keep it steady. Clear left. Left side. Still there. Clear left. Walker, the head is now 0.41. Safety car is out! It happened! It's worked! Pits are closed! I lost a few spots there, but I was going to lose those anyway. <laughs> the strides worked! Let this guy distract you. Let's see how it let's see how it works out now. <laughs> carried on the circuit at the exit of turn two. <clears throat> Sometimes things just go your way. I mean there's still a lot of race left to go. There's an incident in turn ten. It looks like grey. Now see if I'd have taken all four tires, I'd be ten seconds down the road. And I'd be like three or four more positions back. Ah, Aiden. I think there was a couple of people ahead of me who did pit as well. <clears throat> Keep an eye on where the safety car is. We're going to get bunched up very soon. Chances here. Let's make sure we can take them. P13. Um, good question. If you can convince Aidan Millwood to get back behind the steering wheel of a car for a 24-hour race, let alone a 12-hour race, I think he's still recovering from Bathurst three years ago. <laughs> Here we go. We're back on the train. So we are in P13 at the moment, but there are a lot of people ahead of me who will need to make a pit stop. Uh, Hanif J. Looks like it's Turnbull. I gambled on the early pit stop in the hope that the safety car would come out. And guess what? It has. So we've made a pit stop, and I think a lot of people ahead of me haven't. And now is the right time to do it. <laughs> I told you, Nick De Silva. Um, yeah. That's 20 minutes to go, 20 minutes. For those in chat who want to know what Nick Silva's talking about, um, I'm potentially going to be doing a 24-hour Le Mans race, my second 24-hour Le Mans race There's an incident in, in July. You think it might be Middleton. With Nick Silva as my co-driver. Unfortunately, Yelly Binsberg and AK Very Important Potato can't make it. But he didn't make it last year. The only difference is... Looks like it's Turnbull. Now we know he can't make it, so we need a third and fourth driver. 
Uh, it's in R Factor 2, it's with P1 Gaming in July. I think P2 has pinned it in, turn 13. So we are looking for some drivers. Hopefully we can get that off the ground because that was awesome now. fun Zero last time. Okay, pit lane is open now, let's see how many people come in. <clears throat> There's an incident in, turn 14. We think it might be Proctor. The leader's pitting now. Oh, hang on a minute. I thought more people would be coming in than this. Are these people already stopped? In. Turn one. It looks like Proctor. Make him do all the work. Focus on your exits. P12. Dylan Walker keeping his tyres nice and warm there. Not sure how effective that is. In. Turn two. It looks oh, like no. grey. We have encouraged not to weave and brake under safety car conditions. Um, I don't think it's written in the rule book, so that's fine. But yeah, we've been encouraged not to do this, and also to spread out and keep a gap. So we're into 12th. I honestly thought we would be getting more spots than that. You can't tell me that everyone ahead has pitted. Turn three, it looks like it's Proctor. Um, well, the thing is people might be counting on another safety car later on, or Maybe, I don't know, maybe they don't think we've pitted. Maybe they're just like, okay, well, let's, let's do it. Because this is what I did at Barber a couple of rounds ago. I decided to stay out at the first safety car in the hope that I could get the track position. Turn four, we think it might be Banfield. Maybe they're thinking that the slower drivers are going to hold everyone up and they can build a pit stop gap. Because it is a very short pit lane here. We think it might be and there's great. not much pit stop lost time, I think like 15 seconds. So, I mean, if they can like pull a gap of 15 seconds and there isn't another safety car, they could potentially get away. With um, an incident in turn six, it looks like Middleton. Yeah, they could potentially get away with the green flag pit stop while we're stuck behind the AMs trying to catch up. Um, I have thought of a head headset upgrade, Des. Maybe a Quest 3. Um, I had the opportunity to try a friend's uh, Vio Aero <clears throat> Jimmy the Bear a couple of months ago. I don't know if he's in chat. Um, if he is, hope you're doing all right, mate. Hope everything's. Going well, thinking of you, sir. Um, but yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed that, but I wouldn't spend thousands of dollars. I wouldn't spend thousands of dollars on a headset like that, to be honest. It's just, as long as my CV1 still works, it's more than capable of doing a good job. I think P6 has binned it in turn 8. So we are going green again this lap. Safety car coming in. I'm just going to drag those brakes a bit, get some temp. Get ready to go. Once you're out of the safety car, we will be going green to left. Turn 12, we think it might be grey. Alright, let's get ready to go. Concentration time restart. Strats on this one are blown wide open. Thirteen. Looks like it's Middleton. Incident in. Turn fourteen. It looks like Proctor. Oh, that was a bit of a jump from Kyle there. You got people getting T-boned on the start finish straight here. Right side. Still there. Hold your line. Clear right. P7. Couple of spots already. Right control, can we look at that? Car right. Three wide. You're on the left. Car right. We can look at the race side. Clear right. Fucking race side. Please watch your language. Yeah, right, Charles, you're having a look at your four police front lap, copy the Stayed out of trouble. Stand by 52. Right side. Hold your line. Clear oh. right. Okay, Dan, you're halfway home. Got plenty of fuel. Come on, keep digging. Bit of a shoulder bash there from Lockhart. Now this is what the people at the front are hoping on. Big hold up with traffic. Everyone battling for position. 
78. Oh. Slight wall tap there as well. So it's going to get us down the inside, but he is faster. Still That's there. fine. Still there. Keep it steady. I'll You're just right. take that. Thank you very much. Thought I was going to lose a spot. Actually ended up gaining one. I know that's only temporary. There's a lot of fast guys behind me. There's an incident in turn six. You think it might be Proctor? Oh, Andy. The leader has just done a 119.25. Seventh position. That lap was a 120.70. That's your quickest lap. Should I maybe have permission to tie? Seven eight two. You have permission to tie. There's an incident in turn three. It looks like grey. Race control of path 53. Alright Dan, the next Whoa. car is Walker. Stand by 53. There's another freebie, somebody binned it up ahead. Race control, can you check those the last lap? Uh, Race control are very busy today. <laughs> Stand by 7, we'll check it. Might be sixth place, I think. Oh, he's in the fence. I hit the curb as well, didn't get a good drive. I think he was pushed there. Maybe it was a bit in that curb, but he definitely went off to the left. P6, that was a 121.73. You're a second down in. Alright, how many people ahead still have to pit? That's the question. We've got Seb right behind us. Might sneak one up inside here. Hold your nerve. Just keep it smooth. No mistakes. Thanks, 77. Stand by. Oh, we got people disconnecting. Right behind, there's a lap down in the yellow car. Oh, sorry, guy ahead. In the yellow car is a lap down. <laughs> it goes to show how much of my brain is actually available for commentary right now. Not a lot. What have you got a black flag? 453. Your lap time was 120.32. That's your best lap in the session. Pretty good, me boy. Sorry for the lack of commentary, but this is like okay, keep it nice and smooth. Come on, let the race come to us. One of those mentally challenging races I've done for a long time. All right, Seb's probably going to get me here. He's not going to wait for much longer. He needs to make a move through. Far right, still there. Clear right. I'm smarter than that. Fight. Don't let him get away. 53 will not be clearing that black flag. Apologies. Oh, 
Dylan's got a black flag up ahead. He's going to have a penalty. Drive through for contact, most likely. All right, there we go. Well, that's uh, that's another position. So we're actually lost one and gained one again. Your last lap time was at 121.06. Aiden Luth right here. Probably going to send it. Let's see. Moves to the inside. Okay, Dan, you've got half your fuel left. Good exit. Don't be intimidated here. Good exit there. How many people ahead have to stop, and will there be another safety car? That... Well, those are the questions, not that is the question, those can't even count. There's two questions there, Dan. Trying to gather it up in the car behind, gave me a punt. Bit of patience, mate, you'll get me eventually. Was at 120.33. Good exit through turn two there. Come up to lap Andy Proctor. So much concentration. Oh! Very early on the brakes there from Andy. Caught me off guard a bit. Right side. Thanks, Andy. Hold your nerve, just keep it smooth. Alright, six stop. minutes to go. We're in sixth, and there are definitely people ahead of me who have not stopped yet. Your last lap time was at 120.82. As long as I can keep getting a good run out of turn two like that, I can keep Aiden behind. Right oh. side. Keep it steady. Hold your line. Hold your line. Still there. Clear to the right. Bit of a bonk there. I think I got away with it. We'll see shortly how much damage I've got. Car feels okay. I think I just bounced off the tyres, grazed it. it, sounded a lot worse than it actually was. That could have been so much worse. Just locked up. Nope, car feels fine, George. We're good. Somehow, I think we got away with that. The leader's just done it. Well, 19.22. Uh, my own error, 100% there, Rangy. No push at all. I just braked a bit too late, snatched the front left and understeered into the barrier. P7. It's not like I've, anyone's ever okay, done down. that before. Five minutes, <laughs> five minutes remaining, back down to seven. Same here, Blake. The amount of clutch that was going on was unreal, mate. Made a few diamonds there, I'm not going to lie. Hold your nerve, make them do the work. 
four and a half minutes to go. Who needs to stop? Drive the mat there, defending for now. The lap time was on 20.46. Much better run out of turn two. Here we go. Two and a half laps to go. Ish. was close to the wall. Damage? What damage? That's the best lap of the race. You've just done a 120.17. That's your fastest lap today. Thanks for the subscribe. Oh, I don't know how to say that, but thank you, whoever you are. Bit of rear locking. Tires are starting to go, I think. Definitely struggling at turn three a lot now. Two minutes to go, two minutes. <clears throat> so, seventh. People are surely going to have to pit this lap. Surely. Because you can't pit on the last lap. You have to pit with more than one lap to go. Yeah, Motion Matt came in at the end of lap four. Then there was an immediate safety car. That lap was at 120.58. Oh, surely people are going to be pitting soon. Has everyone ahead of me pitted? Maybe. Oh, maybe. He said, I would think P3 has pinned it in turn six. Caution entering the back straight. Caution Yellow flag. Back. Caution. Oh, Fenson's bend it. Does he have damage? Okay, next lap is last lap. Is anyone pitting? I don't think so. Because now's their last chance. The white flag is out. That means it's the last lap of the race. One more lap to go. You've just done a 120.25. We're in P7. Fenton potentially might have damage. He's two seconds up the road. We've got 
got Matt right behind me, harassing me. Got a good exit there, but he got an even better one. Is he going to send it on the last lap? Do I defend? I'm going to have to. One corner, we did it, we held on! We held on to P7, yes! <laughs> Whoa, okay, what a stressful P6 race! It's gone off in turn one. <laughs> position. That's the end oh, of the race. I am we'll stoked with that again. Wow! <laughs> the strategy didn't quite work out the way I thought it would, but um, <laughs> P7! Wow, there we go. Top AM driver, mixing it with the pro guys in the top 10. Um, no, well, micro bin, but zero incident points. I got I got through two two straight races. Right, oh, hectic there. We've got a few uh, out With zero X. Reports that we're going to need to review post-race. It was getting pretty hectic, and we're going to have a very close look at that restart. It's very hard to tell what had happened there, so I need to have a look at a few on boards and a few bits and pieces. But uh, well done, Dan Yeaman, for taking out that uh, second race. Um, you did a very good job. We, were, uh, we won the pro category, so jump into the chat. Um, Dan Finney, well done for winning the AMP category, jumping into the uh, chat as well for the commentators. And um, we grabbed Seb Vandell uh, in there as well. I'm getting interviewed Thanks again. Thanks everyone. If you've got any issues, just send us a message or let us know as soon as you can so we can review it, because we are reviewing a few incidents post-race, as, uh, as I mentioned. But congrats again. Uh, thanks, guys. Well done. Look forward to seeing you all again in a fortnight's time. Don't forget, by the way, there is a free pair yeah, of gloves know, on offer. Type 22. into the chat, exclamation mark, giveaway, um, and you could win a pair of free suit speed gloves. I'm going to save that replay. All right, we'll review that. That's on our list to review. Thanks, 27. And I'm going to load that up in the background. I'm going to jump over to the Discord comms very shortly. So let's do that. Save. Uh, what is it? R4. Uh, do we mind doing something about the walls and not grabbing you like I did? And quit. Alright, let's load that replay up in the background. And let's jump over to Discord. Hmm, because we are being interviewed as the winning M driver, so let me find that very quickly. But yeah, don't forget, exclamation mark giveaway in chat to be in with wearing a free pair of gloves. Uh... There we go. All right, where's Discord? <clears throat> Let's go. Okay, here we go. <laughs> We're going to be interviewed again. Thank you. Yeah, congrats, mate. That's hectic. Oh, yeah. Holy... Oh. <laughs> I did get very lucky with the safety car race. I was like the first car, well, second car back that was able to go left rather than follow the train. Oh, we're getting interviews done there. <sighs> All right. Well, people are on the broadcast right now. So if you type into chat, exclamation mark broadcast, um, you can see the official broadcast and all that kind of stuff. Let's have a look at the results while we wait for our interview. So heat one. <clears throat> Let's bring it up. There's results for race one. Official confirmation. Started seventh, finished seventh. Uh, 20 seconds off the lead. Couldn't quite get Matt Keen, but we got him in race two. Uh, roll reversal for that one. <clears throat> Lockhart Brownlee, congrats on the win. Dylan Walker, Dan Yeaman. Um, and then in the feature race, another P7. So anything but consistent. I did start fourth, but yeah. <clears throat> What can you say? <laughs> yeah, oh, awesome. So stressful. Can't believe I got zero incidents out of that whole thing. Not in the wall once in either race. I'm stoked with that. Was I the only guy to do that? Did anyone else get zero X? There was a few there uh, who got zero X in race one, but I think everybody got at least one incident point in race two, apart from Mark and 
Vinny, but they didn't finish, unfortunately. So yeah, only driver to get 0x throughout both races. I'm stoked with that. Anyway, that's confirmation of the official results. While this happens, I am going to load in the replay. Because uh, you guys want to have a look at the restart. Let's go and have a look at the restart, shall we? So round four. Let's launch that on monitor mode. Thank you, Chris S. Uh, once we do our interview on the broadcast, we will be doing a giveaway. Uh, that giveaway will close once the interview has finished. So it's still open. Um, a free pair of Sud Speed gloves. The ones I was wearing and using during this race. Um, and if I can mix it with the pros, using these gloves. <laughs> Imagine what they can do for you. Nah, seriously, thank you everybody, thank you. Punchy Waterfall, Motion Matt, Sean, John, Andy, Blake, Partially Frozen Potato, Daz, <clears throat> Hanif, and everybody in chat that I've forgotten, seriously. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, we are waiting to be dragged into the broadcast as we speak, so this uh, replay is going to be... Uh, yeah, actually, that's a good point as well. Um, let me have a look in the vote in chat. So, 28% of you said there would be one safety car. You are correct. There you go. Results up, <coughs> Results up in chat right now. I really need to try and find a tissue or something. Ugh. Absolutely stoked with that. Absolutely stoked. Um, and if you guys enjoyed it as well, then uh, don't forget to leave it a like. We are in the waiting room. Ready, ready to be interviewed. So I'm going to pause this because uh, what's probably going to happen is I'm going to start my interview and then all of a sudden... Uh, oh, I'll tell you what's going to happen. <laughs> the replay audio is going to kick in. So you guys want to have a look at the restart. <clears throat> this is this one. Here we go. I'll load it up ready. So I replay. There we go. Restart is launched, ready to go. So who was that behind me? Kyle Ridley. Had a bit of a jump start there, I think. Two litres left. Dale has retired from the race. Oh, massive jump start from Kyle Ridley there. I might have to pop that in chat if no one else has. <laughs> Thank you, Blake. Yeah, that was a very opportunistic start from Kyle there. So let's uh, skim back to my car and then we'll load this replay up. Ready. There we are. Yep, still in the waiting room in Discord, waiting to be interviewed on the broadcast. I don't know if there's... Are they being able to drag me in or not? I think so, maybe. Yeah, they said they'll review the start. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, lots of reports. I don't know, maybe I'll, 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 I'll pop it in there just to see. I'm not sure if Kyle finished ahead of me at the end of the race, but yeah, maybe a five-second penalty or something. Drop a few spots, that'd be nice, but yeah. I don't, I don't like reporting people. I, I'm just here to have fun. I'm here to race, you know. I'm not here to be uh, dobbing and going full Grosjean on everybody, but yeah, we'll see. We are going to come away with a, a chat to Daniel Finney, who managed to grab the M class win here tonight. Daniel, that was uh, certainly a battle for you. It seemed like you were in the mix all night long. Oh, it was, yeah, it was crazy. I wasn't getting past too many people. It was mostly spent looking in the mirror, but no, that was hectic. Yeah, certainly was. How are you finding the track? Um, we've spoken to a few guys already about how the stiffness of these cars and the bumps of the track just clash with each other, and it's really a case of just keeping it out of the wall. Yeah, you've got to be so gentle. Like you say, over the bumps of suspension, if you are pushing the car, it's so easy to get a slide, and normally you'd you know gather it up, you might lose a few tenths here. <laughs> You're knocking the right rear, the right left in the... Uh, in, in, in the barriers, so it's absolutely unforgiving. So yeah, just had to drive well within my limits, keep it out of trouble, and um, I think I actually got 0x for both races though, which is remarkable for me. <laughs> Jesus, wow, okay. Yeah, I don't That's, know how I did uh... that. <laughs> Well, finally, there was a clean driver award for the series. That would uh, that, uh, that's a fantastic achievement. Congratulations on that, Dan. Thank you. But um, 
But yeah, I mean, looking forward to the next round of the championship, I think uh, you'll be very happy to uh, see the end of the concrete barriers right by the racetrack as we go to Canadian Tire Motorsport Park next round. Beautiful, fast-flowing circuit, which should be good for these prototypes. Oh, definitely. If ever there was a circuit that was made for it, then um, yeah, it's it's most sport with all the high-speed sweepers. Um, I must admit, it's not a circuit that I am overly familiar with. Um, I've done a few laps there in the past, but it's not someone I've really raced at, so... Again, I'll be uh, putting on my suit speed gloves and getting on the practice server as much as I can in the next two weeks, I think. Indeed. Well, big congratulations once again for another great result, Daniel. Is there anyone you want to give a shout out to before we let you go? Uh, yes, a massive shout out to everyone who supports me on YouTube and was with me in chat for that race. Uh, lots of people telling me what strategy I should go on. Uh, ultimately, there was no consensus, so I just did whatever I felt like. <laughs> but no, uh, massive thanks to Next Level Racing as well. And of course, uh, Suit Speed for hosting the series and for the gloves and the t-shirts and all the lovely stuff they put out for us, guys. Indeed. Big thanks to Daniel Finney for joining us here. In there we go. <laughs> all done, all finished. That is my interview sorted. And speaking of suit speed gloves, let me put some music on and let me give one of you a pair of them. All right then. So, actually, no, let's let's do the gloves and then we'll have a look at the replay. So, just a reminder, exclamation mark giveaway in chat to be in with a chance. Let me just get this ready to go on the screen. Uh, desktop. <clears throat> That's the view we want. We want to hide that Discord window. And we want to put this up here. Make this bigger. Okay, so as you can see, we have 18 entrants in the giveaway so far. Oh, I forgot my mum and dad. Of course I did, Daz. Sorry, there's too many people to thank, and I don't want to hold the broadcast up. They've got to go. If you want to be with a chance of winning a pair of gloves, <clears throat> a free spare of Suitspy gloves, exclamation mark giveaway in chat. I'm going to keep it open for maybe like another 10, 15 seconds, and I'm going to close the entries, and I'm going to pick a random winner. So let's have a look and see who we've got. Partially Frozen, Blake Reed, JK Williams, Onyx, Stephen Coe, Sticky, Viperion, Icy Blaze. Uh, Andy Bells, George Senior, Daz, Motion Matt, Ada Millwood, Borderless Gaming GSA, Hanif J, Chris S, Nick the Silver, and Mike Davidis. Um, how are you going, Mum, by the way? You're on the mend. Um, you can say, you know, you can tell the chat how you're going. Um, I, I did send my mum a screenshot of the YouTube chat the other way, and she she said she may have, um, her eyes may have got a little bit damp <laughs> from reading all your lovely messages, wishing her all the best. All right, that's it. I think we've got everybody who's entered is going to enter. So let's close those entries. <clears throat> and can we pick a winner? Where's the winner button? Where's my chicken dinner button? Um, I can't see. Okay, let's go back. Let's go. Suit speed gloves again. View active giveaway. We oh, they've changed it. They put the winners on a separate tab. Okay! Alright then, people, can I get some drum rolls in chat, please? Um, massive thanks again to Suitspeed. This is. Th this pair of gloves, by the way, is because I won Driver of the Day last time out at Road America in the wet. Um, and I don't, I don't need a free pair of gloves. I've already got some, so I'm going to give it away to you guys, because why not? I, I, I've already got some. So, let's get some drum rolls in chat, and uh, there we go, Mike David started it off. We get some more, and we're going to pick a winner at random. Now that Mike and Blake have done it, we can just press uh, copy and paste, and that'll do the job. Okay, three, two, one. Viperion, congratulations! Viperion NZ, you have won yourself a free pair of suit speed gloves. Congratulations. You gotta be in it to win it. And I may not have won it tonight. P7 times two, but mate, well done. <laughs> you got yourself some pair of gloves. Uh, send me a message on Discord with your shipping details and I'll put the order through on the store for you. Um, I'll send you a size chart as well so you know what what size gloves you need. But yeah, congratulations! Well done, Viperion, and commiserations to everybody who took part and didn't win. Um, we're going to go and have a look at the replay now and see what's going on. Let's pause that music. All I have to do, basically, is win Driver of the Day again in the future, and I'll get another pair of gloves. Simple as that. <laughs> so I just have to do something fantastic. So, replay in race two. We can see there is already shenanigans here up ahead. Right. 
Uh, is there any DDF baby merch? I have a little one coming. Oh, congratulations, Daz. Congratulations indeed. Um, I don't have anything specific, mate. Um, I'll see if I can rustle something up. I've actually got... I've got a stubby holder. A beer holder from Sticky. A Castrol t-shirt, but... I think that might be a little bit small, even for a... Even for a newborn, mate. <laughs> right, I'm going to pop that back up there. Okay, let's have a look at this restart then, shall we? <clears throat> so, the guy behind jumps us at the start. So, oh, maybe it was just good reactions, we'll see. Oh, someone got... Somebody got netcoded there. Who was that? Oh, it was... Oh, Henry Fenson. What happened here? Oh no, it wasn't Henry Fenson. He reacted. So, it looks like... Daniel Yeaman in four... Oh no, not Daniel Yeaman. I went the wrong way. Looks like Daniel Bedingfield... Uh, Benefield. <laughs> Daniel Bedingfield in fourth. G reacted. He didn't jump. He was ready to go, ready to go. Oh, I think the guy ahead... Jimmy Middleton. Okay, every time I look at the incident, I go up the chain. So, Jimmy... Ah, oh, okay, this is what's happened then. <clears throat> yeah, you are right, Viperion. Um, what happened? Jimmy Middleton went... ...and then checked up and slowed down. Let's get a different angle. Far chase, this will be more telling. Let's watch it in slow motion. So... So he's getting ready to go. He's getting ready to go. And then he goes, realizes he's jumped it, slams on. The guy behind us reacted and goes straight into the back of him. Then Fenson's got nowhere to go. Ah, oh, game over, man. <clears throat> game over, man. That's that's unfortunate. So I'm not really sure who's at fault there. Is it Jimmy's fault for causing a checkup and getting back on it again? I don't know. This is why they have to review the restart. But what we do know is uh, number 34 behind. Mr. Benefield got a bit screwed over by that. And then I get him... So, okay, there's me, number 67 on the outside in the beans machine. How good does that look? Getting him around the outside... Uh, the inside there. So, uh, that's it. Uh, it is not up to the leader to go green potato. The leader can go whenever they want to go. Uh, so it really depends. Uh, you have to react to the leader, not to the green lights. So we got some contact here. Uh, right, control, can we look at that fucking reset? And not much is happening we here. We can look at the restart. We won't be looking at the fucking restart. Please watch your language. <laughs> Richard. <laughs> sass. Absolute sass from Richard there. <laughs> Burn. <laughs> uh, so that's what happened. Race control, can we look at that fucking restart? I shouldn't be encouraging this kind of behavior. We can look at the restart. We won't be looking at the fucking restart. Please watch your language. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you, Richard. Uh, he's got a massive point. <laughs> uh, leader can wait after the green flag, I believe. Um, so let's have a look in the rear. Did, did, did something else happen? Was there more incidents behind? All right, Blake, look after yourself, mate. I'll right, catch you on Thursday, mate. We can look at the restart. We won't be looking at the fucking restart. Please watch your language. So, okay, so Robertson spun again. Do we have more carnage here? Not sure. Let's see. Let's go into blimp can. Thanks for watching again, Blake. Love your work, mate. Yeah, right. So I'll have a look at turn four, please. Current lap. Copy the two. Stand by 52. So I think... Was there more of an incident up here? That was robust defending, for sure. Um, I'm not sure. What, was there more incidents? I know there was definitely more that happened. Uh, yes, let's have a look with fencing near the end. That's for sure. We can do that, George. So we get uh, Proctor around the outside there. Uh, there was definitely a bin up ahead of us. Two people had a crash. In by 200. Permission to tow. Permission to tow. 53. By 53. Okay, here we go. Right, let's see what happened up here. So there was another bin up ahead here. Uh, these two. So Dylan Gray and... 
Dylan, oh, the two Dylans, Clash of the Dylans. Gray's on the inside. 702, you have permission to tow. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. He's alongside. Hits the curb, which causes him to understeer. Uh, Dylan Walker is on the outside with absolutely nowhere to go. That gap has disappeared, and he ends up pit maneuvering him into the fence. Um... Uh, Dylan Gray did lose control on the curb, but he was more than alongside. I think that's unfortunate. Three fifty three by fifty three. So let's see what else happens. Um, Fenson. Let's have a look at Fenson. What happened to Fenson here? So one twenty eight. Something happened here to Fenson, which wasn't enough to give us a freebie. It was into this corner here, so let's have a look. <laughs> no, it wasn't actually. Oh, it was that one. Okay, he just missed his braking. Yeah, I just missed it completely. That's uh, easy done. Easy done. Car rejoining there. Good rejoin from Fenson there. Oh, and he hit the wall coming back on as well, trying to stay out of the way. Um, yeah. No, it was definitely that fence, and there we go, George. I think that pretty much covered everything. Let's have a look at the... Let's have a look at the battle on the last lap. There we go. Where's rear chase cam? There we go. So this is trying to keep Matt Keen behind us for P7. He's much better on the brakes, as you can see here. Uh, and here we go. So I, I get an okay exit out of here. He gets a much better exit than I do. Pulls it over. <coughs> He's going to be on the outside here. Pulls it up on the brakes. Does the old switcheroo. So he's now going to be on the outside here. Is there contact? I'm keeping it as tight as I can. Oh, there is contact. And just hold on to it there. Just hold on to it and... <laughs> do a JB in the middle of the road, slow it down at the apex, and then get on it at the end. Oh, good racing. Um, well, that covers the restart and all the major incidents in that race. Um, held on for P7 in both of them. Thoroughly enjoyable. Thoroughly enjoyable. Right, let's wrap this stream up then, shall we? I am going to go and have some dinner. Maybe a cold beer, and I'm definitely going to go and blow my nose as well. But thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, next on the channel is... Actually, I'm doing a race on Friday if you're in Europe, Friday night, or Saturday morning if you're in Australia. Um, I'm back in race room. GT3 is at Spa for an hour as part of the SCB Community four-year birthday special. I haven't done race room for a while, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to be in the Ferrari 296. Never driven that car before in race room, so I'm looking forward to that. And after that, is next week a rally? I think next week is a rally. Next Friday is the next round, the Czech rally, Tarmac rally in Richard Burns Rally VR. And then the Tuesday after that, we're back in most sport for some more LMP2s. Everything's available on my Discord on the channel. Check the events section. Uh, <clears throat> and I have actually, I'll show you, I have actually put some more details on the whiteboard for the first time this year. I've updated this. So RBR Rookies on the 19th. Um, I've got a new handbrake turning up. Yes, I'm going to be doing a gear review unboxing video. Uh, maybe in the next few days when that turns up, I've got myself a handbrake. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I've had to put the Thermalita Hot Lap series on hold for now. Uh, it's a bit too much to keep up with, so I will be coming back to that shortly. Um, bulk F1 career. I'm going to be doing Bulk Brogan's F1 career when I've tested out the new Formula 1 cars and make sure that they have fixed the regen and AI strategy issues. I'm going to do a video review on the iRacing Rain system, aka iRaining, and I'm going to be doing an, up an update on Race Room. What the hell is going on in Race Room? And Le Mans 24 in July, TBC, so we'll see. Lots to look forward to on the channel, so if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe. <sighs> but yes, I'm heading off now. Thank you so much for your support. Everybody who subscribed, renewed their memberships, and enjoyed that race. Hopefully as much as I did. You're all legends, and you all make this possible. I'm going to catch you all again soon. <laughs> Thank you guys and girls. Bye-bye. Look after yourselves.
George, that is a very good point, by the way. I just saw your message. I will make sure to put the championship standings once the review of penalties has been done uh, on the start of next stream. <laughs> I should have done that this stream. But I'll put the standings at the start of next stream for everybody so you can see what the points are. But I think I might be leading the AM championship by now. All right. Thanks again, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.